Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bathroom. Tonight we're going to be talking about my PM skincare routine. So my nighttime skincare routine. If you haven't seen my past two videos from my skincare week, I will have those linked down below. The first one I talked about my skincare journey and all the things besides skincare products that I've been doing to help clear my skin. And then I also have my morning skincare routine if you guys wanna see that. Like I said before, this is my nighttime skincare routine. It's a little bit different because usually I go to bed and before I go to bed, I have makeup on. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to remove my makeup and then how I like to cleanse my skin to make sure the makeup really comes off nicely. And then I have my favorite tried and true products that I'm gonna be sharing with you as well. So let's just get right into it. Um, first things first, I usually like to remove any jewelry that I have on. I just feel like I feel better that way. So I take off my wedding ring, my bracelet, any necklaces that I have on, and then we're ready to dive right in to cleansing the skin. Now, the first thing I will say is usually I tie up my hair and I have these spa headbands. They're all in the dirty laundry right now. So I will go ahead and link those down below. They're some of my favorite things ever for just making sure that the water doesn't get into the hairline too much. But for today, we're just gonna make it work with this hairstyle, so let's just get right into it. So I have learned to love double cleansing, and I love to use a cleansing butter of some sort to really melt away my makeup before we go in with a cleanser. So I'll show you. This one right here is one of my favorites of all time. It's from Drunk Elephant. It's the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. This is actually my second tub of this already, and I've already made a pretty good dent in here. I like how there is a magnet on the top so that the little scoop thing can just stick right on it. It's really convenient that way. I have also more recently really been enjoying this right here. This is from the brand Holy Frog, and it's the Kissimmee Vitamin F Therapy Balmy Wash. This is definitely something that I have just recently started using, so I wanted to tell you guys because I wanted to keep you guys as up to date as possible with what I'm really enjoying right now. But for tonight, we're gonna go ahead and use this one right here since this is the one that I have used the most frequently for the longest period of time as of right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Um, I like to just take it. And we'll take a little scooper and I just like to scoop a little bit out. I like to take about this much on the little paddle and I literally just like take the spoon and I distribute the balm all over my face like that. So now I just like to work it into the skin and I'll stand here and do this for quite some time just to really make sure that it starts to melt all of the makeup off. I like to make sure to get my skin first and then I like to make sure to kind of work it into the eyebrows because I do wear a lot of makeup in my brows. So I like to do that as well. And then I'll take it on the lips if I'm wearing any lip products. And then I like to take it and just kind of lightly go across my eyelids to remove any eye makeup. If for some reason I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup, I will sometimes go in with micellar water first. I'll show you the micellar water in a second. Sometimes I do like to remove the majority of the eye makeup before doing this. Again, only if I have like a lot of eye makeup on. I feel like that just helps me remove it a little easier. And it also helps prevent kind of like a huge raccoon mascara kind of a situation. So I love my nighttime routine. I feel like it's my time to just relax and get ready for bed and kind of de-stress. Um, just so you know, this is more of my simple nighttime routine. If you guys want to see videos of like my spa night routine, I'd be happy to show you. All right, so now I'm just gonna take water. Sorry if it's like echoing here. I'm doing my best to make sure you guys can hear me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some water. And I will show you that when you start to lather this into the skin, it actually kind of turns into a cleanser which is really nice. So that's what we're doing. Just kind of working it in. And then let's rinse it off as best as possible. Well, now I can't really see. <laughs> if you wear contact lenses like me, I usually take out my contacts before I use a balm cleanser around the eyes because sometimes it can stick to it and now I like, can't see. But I kept them in because I wanted to see if I was in focus. So just know, if you wear contacts, just take them out before I use the balm. Okay, my face is still wet. This is where we go in with the actual cleanser. So I have a couple cleansers that I really like. First, I'm gonna share with you guys the ones I've been using super consistently for the past year and a half or so. Sorry, my face is damp still. But the first one is this right here. It's the Drunk Elephant Bessie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. This is a really great cleanser for when my skin feels really normal or if I'm about to do a face mask, I like to use something pretty gentle like this. 
um, just to make sure I don't irritate it. This is an amazing like all around gentle cleanser, great for every day. I also love this one right here from Indie Lee. This is their brightening cleanser. You can see how much I love this one. If I feel like my skin needs a little boost of brightness, I reach for this one, which I really love. And then, um, like you may have seen in my morning skincare routine video, I've been really enjoying the Holy Frog cleansers. And in the evening, I have especially enjoyed this one right here, which is called the Shasta AHA Refining Acid Wash. So this is amazing because it has AHAs in it, so it's gonna kind of exfoliate the skin, and I've just noticed a huge difference already, even though it's a short time I've been using this. I've noticed a huge difference in like my pore size and my texture with this cleanser. So I wanted to mention that, but I definitely have been using these two cleansers longer. Also, I made the disclaimer in my morning skincare routine, but I'll say it again here just in case. Um, my esthetician actually makes a lot of skincare products and I have used a lot of her products, especially when I was experiencing like full-on active breakouts. With that being said though, I've used all of these products just as much as those and she told me that she wants to get her products up on a website so that people can purchase them. As soon as she does that, I will definitely make a video about my favorite products from her and I will update you guys on a skincare routine, but just know that I use these on a daily basis and these are also tried and true. I just wanted to make sure that all the products that I share with you are available for you guys to purchase in case you want to. So let's choose a cleanser. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go with this one right here. I've been really, really loving it. I'm just gonna let my face burn. Then I'm gonna do about two pumps of this and I'm gonna start to work this into the skin. And the thing I've been loving about these Holy Frog cleansers is that they really encourage you to spend time cleansing your face. Um, I also love that they're pH balanced. You guys, by the way, this is not sponsored by anybody. A lot of these products were sent to me. The Holy Frog products were sent to me. Um, the Drunk Elephant Cleansing Balm was originally sent to me, but I repurchased that one. Just wanted to kind of be transparent with that as well. Um, but I really like how they encourage you to cleanse your skin for at least one minute. So I've been doing that, and I've really noticed a difference when I do it. Um, this is obviously where you would also incorporate any cleansing tools. I decided not to incorporate any tools or like face masks in this video just because I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I will make another video about all of those extras down the road, but you know, since this is like my first skincare routine I'm ever posting on my channel, I wanted to make sure that it's just product based because you really can still get results with just products. Okay, I feel like that's about one minute. I'm gonna go ahead and rip this off. All right, I'm just patting my face dry. I take a cotton pad. This one is so cool. It's more of like a mesh cotton pad and it does not waste your product. I actually buy these from my esthetician, but I wanted to show you just in case. I'm not even sure what the brand is, but I wanted to show you in case you find something similar. I love these, but I like to take this. I literally swear by this, you guys. Oh, it's not wanting to focus, hello. There we go, it's the Bioderma Micellar Water, and this is incredible for removing any remaining eye makeup from around my eyes. So I like to take just a little bit of this, and I will just gently kind of wipe any remaining mascara that's on the eyes off with this micellar water, and I love this because it doesn't have like any oil in it, so it doesn't leave my eyes feeling greasy or gloopy. It's incredible. They just feel fresh and it really helps remove any eye makeup that's left over. Okay, so we've removed makeup, we have cleansed our skin, and now we're going to move into some of the treatments. So this is definitely a little bit extra, but I love it. So I'm gonna share it with you. It's this right here from Murad. It is their prebiotic three-in-one multi-mist. I use this because I'm just like kind of a nerd about bacteria on the skin and making sure that I nourish the good bacteria on the skin. So I make sure that all the cleansers and products I use first are pH balanced so that they don't strip any of those good oils or bacteria away. And then this is a prebiotic mist, so it's gonna feed those little cute bugs on my face. That's kind of weird to say, but I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this. I like to shake it up first and then just douse my face in it, I love it. So now that my face is nice and misted with that, in the evening, this is where I like to do some of my more intense treatments because your skin rejuvenates as you sleep, which is incredible. And also, you guys, sleep is so important when it comes to good skin. When I do not sleep, my skin freaks out. When I get good sleep and when I drink water, 
Oh, my skin looks amazing. So I have a few favorites. I'm gonna show you guys this one. This is from Drunk Elephant. It's their TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I love glycolic acid. This is amazing for pigmentation and also for texture. So I love to use this at night. I've gone through so many of these. Um, this is where I also like to use retinol. I love this one right here from Drunk Elephant. It's their A Passioni Retinol Cream. I really like that as well. So I'll show you guys what I tend to do. Now when it comes to skin at night, I like to assess my skin situation. So you guys know when I'm done with my makeup, I like to step back and assess the situation. It's kind of the same thing for me with like my skincare at night. So tonight, I feel like my skin's looking pretty good. I do have some texture on my forehead here and around this area here, which is making me think that a highlighter I'm using is kind of clogging my pores because I'm getting like bumps right here where I put my highlighter. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is some glycolic and I might do a little bit of retinol. I wanted to show you guys another treatment combo that I'm in love with. This brand is so beautiful and every time I use it consistently, my skin loves every bit of these products. Um, I purchased these myself and I've been using them for a while. Okay, so this first oil, both of them are from Mara Beauty. This is their Algae and Moringa Oil. This is such an incredible hydrating oil. It's one of my all-time favorite face oils. The packaging is stunning. This is definitely something that you invest in, um, but you can see how much I've loved it, and I seriously cannot get enough of this oil. So this is one of my favorites to use at night. When I feel like I want an extra boost of something amazing, I use this along with it. So this is from Mara Beauty as well, and this is the Evening Primrose and Green Tea Algae Retinol Face Oil. This is so good. So these combined together, I love to use um, when I need resurfacing and I feel like my skin just needs to like rejuvenate and also when I need hydration. This is a dynamic duo right here. Okay, I think I wanna go in with this first. So I'm just gonna do one pump of the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Acid Serum and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers to work that into the skin. And I like to really take my time when I'm applying any product and just kind of feel the product go into my skin and then use my fingers to kind of press it in a little bit deeper. During the months where I don't need as much intense hydration, I go in with this right here. This is from Drunk Elephant as well. It's their Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This is by far my most purchased product from Drunk Elephant. I actually just bought this one um, the other day because I had just run out and I think I've gone through probably five or six of these now. So on days where I feel like my skin's hydrated, I will just go in with this. On nights where I feel like I need a little more hydration, that's where I go in with the oils. So I might mix them today. It really just depends. I listen to my skin, I look at my skin and I try to judge off of that. So I'm going to go in with this one next. I'm just going to take a little bit though. I love the packaging on that. I think it's so satisfying. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this cream and I'm gonna apply a nice thin layer all over the skin because I'm gonna do the cream and I'm gonna do the oil. I'm feeling extra, extra today. Sorry about all these awkward angles. <laughs> I'm like all over the place. Okay, um, I actually am gonna mix the retinol oil with the universal. Um, I have noticed a huge difference when I mix glycolic with retinol. Now, just a disclaimer, you guys, I've been using these products for a long time. My skin has definitely adapted to them. If you're someone who's new to either glycolic acid or retinol, it's definitely super important to ease yourself onto one of them at a time, and then you can alternate using them, and then after a while, you can see how your skin works with both of them together. I personally have found that it works really well because glycolic acid goes from the surface down to repair the skin and retinol goes from below the skin up to resurface. So I love to mix them both. Um, the only thing is it can kind of dry out your skin if you do it too frequently. So that's why I like to up my hydration when I use them together. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five drops of the Mara Beauty retinol oil. I like to mix it in my hands first and then just kind of press it onto the skin. I love how these smell. They smell so good. Like, it just puts me in the best mood, honestly. I love their skincare so much. These are like their only two products right now, and I'm waiting for Mara Beauty to like 
launch more because I will definitely be like their first customer for everything. So I'm working that into the skin and kind of pressing it in. Even though the retinol oil is an oil and it's very hydrating, I still do like to combine it because um, I just like that extra boost of hydration. And every time I wake up in the morning, my skin absorbs all of the oil, so it never feels greasy. So I feel like I need that extra boost. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Universal Face Oil from Wear Beauty Now. And I like to do about four to five drops of this as well. We'll do four today since we use the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro. Same thing, I like to kind of warm it up in my hand and then just press it onto the skin. Oh my gosh, this smells so good too. I also always love to take what's left of the oil and just kind of put it on the back of my hands. I do that with like all of my skincare products in the morning and the evening because I feel like everyone forgets the back of their hands, you know? I don't want my hands to age faster than my face and my neck, you know? I'm feeling good. We're gonna go ahead and add some eye cream. This has been my favorite nighttime eye cream for a long time now. I've actually mentioned it on my channel a couple times and that's kind of crazy because I never really talk about skincare on my channel, but it's the, uh, oh, I didn't even tell you. It's the Drunk Elephant Shaba Eye Serum. So I like to take a tiny bit of this, like a tiny bit. Oh my gosh, that was more than a tiny bit. But we're just gonna work with it. So I take it on my ring finger and I kind of like distribute it between both hands. And then I go ahead and work this on the eye area. I like to put it underneath the eyes and also on the eyelid. This has copper peptides in it and I honestly feel like it contributes to the length of my lashes. I don't know. I just noticed that like when I use this consistently, it helps them grow. Okay, that's basically everything. I have more recently incorporated skincare on the neck and chest. I'm going to share that with you guys anyway because I'm just sharing it all with you, you know, because I haven't posted a skincare video yet. So this right here is from Sunday Riley. It's their CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. However, I like to use it on my neck at night, which, you know, is a little bit extra and a little bit bougie, but I honestly love it. Oh, I wanted to also mention this right here from Lush. This is the Sleepy Lotion from Lush. If I'm having a really stressful evening or I want a good night's sleep, I like this and I'll just put this only all over my neck and chest and it helps me fall asleep. It helps calm me down. I love the smell of this so much. Like, I love this so much. So I wanted to mention that as well, um, but when I want to like treat the skin and it's just a normal day, this is what I do. So I'll take some of the CEO Glow Oil and my pajamas can have a high neckline. <laughs> okay, so I kind of drop it onto my skin. I should have thought about this before I chose these pajamas tonight. But I will go ahead and massage that all over the chest area. I feel like it just helps rejuvenate, hydrate, and kind of brighten the skin there. And then I like to take some preventative measures as well. So I go in with this right here from Tula. It's their advanced neck cream and it has probiotics in it, so I love this. And I'll just take a little doll dew and I will rub that together in my hands and I will do the same thing. Just kind of applying it all over my neck and chest and when i apply it to my neck i like to go in upward motions you know going against gravity and i notice a big difference when i use this actually because i am a side sleeper so i get a lot of like neck creases <laughs> you know so this neck cream has kind of helped smooth all those out and now my neck looks so glowy all right Last but not least, I cannot forget the lips. I literally can't go to bed without a lip balm on. I have three that I love so much. Um, my top, top, top number one is this right here from Bite Beauty. It's the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I love this. My number two is the Laneige Sleep Mask. I just bought a new one of these because I'm like all out of it. So I love that as well. And I actually recently was sent this right here from Hourglass. I have had my eye on this for a long time, but I had never tried it and they gave it to me recently and I've been using it. Um, this is their lip oil and it's a really luxurious hydrating lip oil that I like to use sometimes too. The tip is actually 24 karat gold, so it definitely makes you feel like, you know, a queen or something when you use this at night. Tonight, I'm just gonna stick to my go-to ride or die, which is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. So I'm just gonna take a bit of that on my finger and I like to load that up all over the lips, especially in the winter time, because like my lips get so dry in the winter. All right, you guys, so that completes my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I will have all the products listed and linked down below. 
Um, again, this is definitely something that I have invested my own money in. Of course, yes, I do get sent a lot of skincare as well. So I do want to make sure to mention that because so many of these products I would have never ever purchased myself had I not tried them first. So I wanted to make sure to mention that because I know that that is something that a lot of people are concerned about, you know. It is really hard sometimes to fork out that much money for skincare. Like I said, I have learned to really have to prioritize and invest in skincare. So it's just something that I enjoy now and I prioritize, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, if I ever come across a good, affordable skincare product, I will definitely be sure to share it with you. Like I mentioned in my first video, I like to take products to my esthetician and share with her the ingredient list, and she usually is able to tell me whether it's a good or bad product. And the issue that I've run into with a lot more of the affordable products is there's a lot of preservatives and fragrances in there that can tend to irritate the skin. So I'm on the lookout for more affordable skincare items and I will definitely keep you guys posted as I go through more of those affordable options. But as of now, this is genuinely what I'm using and I hope you guys found it interesting and helpful. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. So that's it for tonight. I feel so hydrated and amazing and ready for bed. If you guys want to see a nighttime pamper routine, let me know. There's definitely a lot more I can share with you. Um, but again, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible and I know it was already kind of overwhelming. So let me know if there's more videos that you would like to see um, involving skincare because I would love to make them. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.